welcome to a new episode of the Dragon's Lair. Um, thank you for um, watching the video and um, please subscribe to my channel. Um, hit the like button, watch my previous videos and all the other cool stuff. Um, I just got back from a trip and when I got home, this was sitting on my desk. Thanks to my brother, watching for my pro my bo boxes and taking care of the house. <clears throat> so I'm gonna do this du the dungeon crate. I'm hoping at some point this week, this coming week, since this is Sunday, that I will be getting my other boxes, the witch, the witch casket, the witch box. So um, stay tuned because this week I'll be doing other stuff. And this Saturday, coming this coming Saturday, is Emerald City Comic Con for me. So I'm going on Saturday only because I have other things to do. Um, so I will try to get some videos of that to put on here. Um, and do a, some commentary or talk about it. So I hope you enjoy it. And let's get started with the unboxing of the Dungeon Crate. This is a monthly subscription box for tabletop gamers. It's $35 a month plus tax. I don't know if they charge you shipping. I know they charge you tax. But um, it always comes in a reusable um, box, which is cool. I got a lot of figures and a bunch of dice and miscellaneous gaming stuff kept in these boxes. So I've been doing this for exactly a year now. This last February is when I started the Dungeon Crate stuff. So, And it always comes with the card and paper so you can't see what's in it. But but the cool thing is, is the card is a usable um, mat. You could put it down and there now you have a brick floor for any of your um, campaigns, your mini campaigns, your one-offs. So there, it's everything's reusable. And then you always get a big exclusive, and this big exclusive this month seems to be a pair of socks. Um, Dungeon Dragon socks. So they might, they, I don't have no clue what they are. Let's see if they tell you. This, um, some will get D&D &D socks, some will get monster socks. Okay, so let's see. I got monster socks. So. I have no idea what kind of monster they are, but okay. Um. I'm not sure what to do with these. I may give them to a, a one of my gaming member, my group, group, one of my members of my group, because I don't. I have a bunch of geek socks, and I may wear some, may wear a pair or two, or a pair at Comic Con. But I usually wear long knee socks because I wear kilts. So, um, sorry for the tangent, but. But it is part of the thing, so, but I mean. Uh, okay, I'll just stand on the chair. See, I wear these kind of socks. Knee length socks. With my utility kilts. Um, sorry about that. Um, but I just. So I don't really wear socks like this. And since I don't wear pants, I have. No use to have. I I have a bunch from previous um, subscription boxes. And yes, when I'm out when I'm out in the field when I'm camping at the, at the Ren Fair, Ren Fair, I wear black sports socks. So I mean, but these are these are cool though. They would have been cooler if I gotten the D and D ones. But next we get. 
Distance Marker, Project Cuts and Burns, Lord of Adventures. Okay, so... Distance Marker. That's kind of cool. It's a, dis it's a dragon shooting his flame out, but it's got 10, 20, 30, so you know how far the character can go. So if you measure it, here, let's use this board. So if you put the car if you put the miniature there and they move 30 feet, which is a normal speed for a medium sized creature. So you put the character here and then they move all the way up to here. So if you, here, let's see if I can get this straight. There we go. So if your character's here, he can move all the way up to here. Or up to here, actually. So. So that's cool. It's And that, it's also a dragon. Which is cool. Um, so. Next we have the flashing D6. So it's a D6. Let's see. And it flashes. So I guess when you roll it, it'll flash. So, but it is a usable D6. It just flashes. And it's made out of rubber. So, so that's kind of cool. That I might give to one of my gaming, buddy, gaming group members because I know they would really enjoy that. And for the people that are new to this channel, I do uh, I do a bunch of uh, unboxings, but I also do a bunch of other things. But the main reason for this dungeon crate, I started getting dungeon crate, was to get extra stuff for my gaming group. So like the short adventures, the um, the weapon cards or the um, equipment cards, NPCs. Uh, and the cool little uh, miniatures, because most of the time you usually get miniatures from Reaper. But this time you get a Black Knight figure mini from Omaha 3D Prints. So it's a 3D printed um, mini. Let's see if I can open it. And it is the Black Knight. Actually. And that's cool. He kind of, he almost, if he didn't have the shield, he'd almost look like the Black Knight from um, Monty Python's Holy Grail. The knights, they say me. So that's cool. Um, miniatures are always great. You never have too many miniatures, too many dice. Never happen. Um, next is the Dungeon Crate exclusive, a birthday bash and RPG encounter by Dungeon Doodles. So, birthday bash. It's a level 5 adventure, difficulty hard, and you get 2,250 experience points for being it, for doing this adventure. So that's cool. Um, and that's the cool thing. They always give you adventures. Sometimes they're not on these cards. They're like little books. But they're cool. And you could always use these adventures as side quests in your in your campaign if you want to. So that's always cool. Next is... I'm assuming it's this one. Here is what your party's up against. Adela is the beloved orphan niece of a member in your adventuring party and is being raised by her grandfather, an elderly gnome known for pulling elaborate pranks. For Adela's seventh birthday, she has kindly requested that you, the mighty heroes of Hel Helikion, 
attend the gathering that her grandfather is hosting. Ready your party for hijinks. Okay, I'm assuming that's just more more stuff for the um, birthday bash, because that sounds more like the birthday bash. Adela's Wish and stuff. Yeah, that's that's more extra stuff for Adela for the birthday bash. And they always give you extra stuff too, which is cool. Another Dungeon Crate exclusive magic item. Stat cards. And their stat cards are actually pretty cool. And it is the Hat of Holding. So that's cool. Instead of a bag of holding or a purse of holding like in like Hermione from Harry Potter, you got the hat of holding. It's a rare item. So sorry for the glare. I don't have all my lights attached because like I said, I just got back from the trip, so I figured okay, I have this sitting here. I'm still dressed. So I figured might as well do the video today. And next is the cake mimic, which is cool. That's cool. Here's your NPC for the for the month. Neutral cake mimics can be neutral. I thought they were usually chaotic. Okay, um, cake mimic, medium monstrosity shape changer, and it's a cake. That's even cool. That's cool too. Challenge rating 2, so 400 X, 450 XP. And it didn't tell you how much... Um, if you wanted to sell that bag of, or the hat of holding, I don't know why you would. It's a rare, wondrous item. Roughly 2 feet in diameter at the mouth and 4 feet deep. The hat can hold up to 500 pounds, not exceeding a volume of 64 cubic feet. The hat weighs 15 pounds regardless of its contents. Retrieving an item from the bag, bag requires an action. So, okay. And then you get the bonus items. So the bonus items are, first one off is a, looks like a um, Chinese or Japanese dragon. Um, another NPC and another magic item. So you get the mutated basilisk. Large monstrosity unaligned. So you have another NPC and then you have another magic item, the Sword of Musra. Um, rare. Requires attunement. Weapon, long, it's a long sword. You gain a plus one bonus to attack and damage rolls made with this magic item. So that's cool. And you know what? I know one of my gamers that I can give this to when we start our campaign. Because the first Saturday in March, or the first Sunday in March, I'll be running my campaign. So, And I have a character in my... I have a, a, a member of my group playing in the Middle East, Egypt style in, in my world that I created. Um, which I created most of it all, all on hand and I've been trying to figure out how to do it and get it all converted to World Anvil which I actually like. This is the second year I've owned it. I've paid a year subscription for it. So I mean um, but I mean I like World Anvil. It's useful. I have my map on it right now, so which is good because I can't find my paper one. Okay, the next um, bonus item is stealing the sword in Musra, a level eight encounter. So you have a short level eight encounter, which you could always, as I said before, you could always use this as a side quest if you want it. And then you get a bookmark. The last item in the box is a bookmark. That's also electricity. So if your wizard's shooting electricity, there you go. You have it. And it's got the thing so it's on the so you can still see where character where NPCs or PCs are standing. 
So that's it for this month. I like everything. The I think the la the thing that's on the bottom of my list of likes for this month are the socks. That's just because I don't dress as a regular person out in the world with jeans or slacks or regular socks or stuff. Um, but yeah, no. If you want, go check them out. I'll put a link down below. Um, I'll have photos of all this stuff I'll, on my. I'll do it for my Instagram. Um, I'll probably keep make a photo and stick it in my website too because I've been trying to update my keep my website update now and I fixed my subscription boxes so now I can actually put new photos in there. Um, other than that, um, enjoy. See you hopefully in a couple of days again. Um, uh, yeah, enjoy and check out my website. I'll put a link down below. Check out Dungeon Crate. And even if you only want to do one one month to see what it's like, do one month. It's it's worth it for the for the twelve months. Actually, thirteen because I did start in last January, last February. So thir for the thirteen months that I've gotten, I think maybe there's like three items, three to four items in that whole thirteen months that I didn't really like. And I gave out to other people, other members of my part, my group, gaming group. So, I mean, that's not bad. Um, I did, I do want to update. I did um, st stick with getting the um, March's band box, horror band box. Um, even though they still owe me the February one because the one I did for the last video was January. So the February ones should be coming sometime in the next three weeks. And they said they were going to be caught up by March. So I'll probably get February and March together. Um, and like I said, the Witch Casket should be coming. And I'm stuck with that. I'm doing that again. Uh, my pin box. did that at the beginning of the month keeping that because I love my fountain pens. I don't use anything else but fountain pens or quills. Oh, that's right. I was going to do a video on my about my drawing, my writing desk and all my quills and um, my glass fountain pen, my glass quills and stuff. And how it's set up and what it looks like. I may do that too. I'll probably do that this week. Um... Depending on what Wednesday looks like, if I'm done with what I need to do on Wednesday, I'll probably do some, I'll probably, I will probably do a video on Wednesday. So, at least there will be one video this week if I don't get any of my subscri other, subscri other subscription boxes. And it's only the two witch boxes that are out now. I've gotten everything else. So, like I said, enjoy. Have a good Sunday, even though it's almost over. Um, and enjoy the week and have fun.